Okay, what's first? Oh, hey, this is one of my favorite games. Mega Man 1 is a game about an average blue man, except he owns a gun. We're playing the Japanese version of the game as a part of the Mega Man Legacy Collection, because I have a personal computer, not a family computer. But for all intents and purposes, it's the same as the NES game. I did get the box art wrong, though. God, he's so handsome. Okay, so we load in and there are six levels to choose from in whatever order we want. Does that make Mega Man an open world game? No, I'll start with Guts Man because he's dummy thick. This level's not too difficult. You just gotta jump from platform to platform. Okay, they have a bit of a learning curve. Also, sometimes gravity is super weird in this game. Like falling off these platforms makes you fall way quicker than falling off any other platform. Gotta fight some Minecraft players. Get the fuck out of my room. Drop down a few holes and try not to get crushed by this dude. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then we make it to the boss. Oh, wait, no, there's a super long hallway in this game. And then we make it to the boss. And I mean, hey, this game came out 35 years ago, so he's probably not that hard. Okay, yeah, he beat the shit out of me. But once you figure out how to time your jumps, he's not too hard. You got G. Which stands for Super Arm. Wait, what? All right, let's see how we do against Kung Fu Cutman. Compared to Gutsman's level, it's a little less thematic. Like, Gutsman's all about muscle, and he throws rocks and stuff, so yeah, construction site totally fits. But Cutman's stage is just kind of generic, and I don't really- Oh shit, a box full of scissors! Okay, yeah, I guess it's fine. And of course, Cutman is weak to Super Arm because Rock beats scissors. You got C. Now we're on to Elect Man. The start of this stage requires some pretty sick platforming. <laughs> Luckily, I'm a bit of a pro gamer. See? Easy! Then we just keep climbing up, and climbing up, and climbing up, and uh... Oh, disappearing blocks. And then we just keep climbing up, climbing up, climbing up! Ah! And here we have a sick power-up. Just gotta clear out these blocks, and nice! You got air! In Magnus. How do they work? I've been told you can use the magnet beam to totally break the game, but I don't want to break my immersion. I want to experience this game the way Capcom, ah, damn it, the way Capcom intended. Wow, rip that guy. But yeah, like I was saying, the way Capcom intended. And use magnet beam to traverse little bits of levels. Like, oh no, how do I get out of here? Boom, magnet beam. But maybe I'll use it on this tricky platforming section. Jesus! Like I said before, sometimes gravity is just weird in this game. But that's what Capcom intended. I'm like super immersed right now. Like once again, look at the spring guy. You can't really tell if he's gonna jump short or high, so sometimes, sometimes you just get hit and lose half your health. That's fine. It's just what Capcom intended. I'm super immersed right now. Gotta go try again. Like, oh no, I can't read his movements. Oh, oh shit, I died. Oh. Wait, I had no lives left. Oh, I gotta redo the level. I'm super immersed right now. See, the trick is to run at it with confidence. And just like that, we're at the boss. And of course, Elec Man is weak to Rolling Cutter because Scissors beats electricity. You got E. Next up is Iceman. And just so we don't get another game over, I'll just reset my lives. I really like this level. It's very peaceful. There's penguins swimming around. You get some free health and then, oh, oh God, no. Okay, well, I'm just gonna use Magnet Beam a little here. I made it! That was really easy and didn't suck! Hope there isn't another section just like... Okay, well this one is actually easier because you can banish the Roomba to the void by letting it go off screen. Then just magnet beam up. Man, we're so smart. Alright, it's a nice level. And we're back. Hey, can you go up please? Uh, up please. Hey, can you go up please? Thank you. The trick is to run at it with comfort. Damn it! And we're at Iceman, but he's no match for E. Nice, we beat him. Ah, what the hell? You got I. Next up is Fireman. Hey, does anyone else misremember his name as Torchman? I think it's probably because the Battle Network character based off of him is Torchman, but that's only his name in the English dub of the anime. He's still Fireman in all the games. Probably something to do with toy companies thinking a toy named Torchman is more marketable than a toy named Fireman, since he's not an actual fireman. 
And if that wasn't confusing enough, Mega Man 11 gave us an actual Torchman, but Torchman EXE and Torchman look nothing alike. Torchman EXE definitely looks more like Fireman. And I haven't even mentioned Torchman from the Mega Man 3 DOS game, because I won't mention it. Nobody should mention it. So anyway, is it just me? Any other Torchman, Fireman, Mixer Uppers out there, or am I a fake fan? Yeah, Torchman stage is cool. Damn it, I mean Fireman. There's lots of lava and fire and stuff, and Magnet Beam lets you skip little spots here and there. This is the roughest boss hallway so far, but they are no match for E. Holy crap, Fireman just spams you with attacks, and I have no idea how to dodge all of them, but with full HP and Ice Slasher, we managed to beat him. You got. All that's left is Bomb Man. No, not that one. And I've since learned to just use the Light Beam for everything. Even the Roombas can't handle it. I don't know what it is about this part, but for some reason I die here three goddamn times in a row and get a game over. But eventually we make it to the boss hallway. There's a ladder to climb down safely, but I like to live dangerously. <laughs> and it's the last robot master of the game. He's pretty easy with Firestorm. You got B. Now we're on to Dr. Wily. If you're wondering why I never bothered to kill the Hoppy Boys this whole time, it's because they have so much health! And if you back up too much, they just respawn, so just run under them. It works. Most of the time. Play a little more Minecraft here, and then freeze the Fire Geyser so you can walk past them. Unless you don't freeze them right. Okay, just don't freeze them, it's fine. And switch to E for everything. <laughs> Thank goodness the checkpoint is here. Oh, come on. Don't go up. Please don't go up. Come on, don't go up. Oh, thank you. Now we just got a magnet beam our way around the screen. Ah, come on. Uh, oh no. Ah, oh, man. Ah, I fucked it all up. At least they left a convenient pit to kill myself with. Oh wait, that's not death. Nice. Oh, come on. Just gotta refill a couple times and we made it. Oh God, it's him. The yellow devil. Now I've been told that there is a notorious glitch in Mega Man 1 that you can use to cheese all the bosses, but especially Yellow Devil. Press the select button to stop time and the iframes don't pause with it, so your one attack can just hit the boss over and over until they're dead. We aren't gonna do that, because like I said, I don't want to break my immersion! I mean, how would you feel if you were an evil yellow dude and some blue guy killed you by stopping time when he didn't even have the power to stop time before? I think that'd be pretty bullshit! We're gonna try and beat this guy the old fashioned way by learning his patterns and hitting him once per sequence because that's what Capcom intended. Okay, like I said, sometimes gravity is really fucking stupid in this game. So eventually I learned you definitely gotta use E to make sure you hit its eye. Usually. Oh, come on! And the blob pattern is always the same, and it's not too hard to dodge any of the blobs except this one where the two come out right next to each other in sequence. The timing is pretty tight on that one. But after countless deaths, we beat Yellow Devil without the time stop glitch! Let's go! That's like the hardest boss in the game down! Nothing can stop us now! Uh, okay, well, like I was saying, we're in the home stretch, and we got our first Robot Master graveyard! Look, it's Gutman! But we got no rocks to throw at him. How will we ever defeat him? Oh, wait, he's he's just weak to the Mega Buster. Huh. Next is Elect Man, who's weak to scissors again. And the next robot master we fight is. <gasps> My own clone! Now neither of us will be virgins! <coughs> Alright, with full HP and Firestorm, we got him. Or did we? Who's to say I wasn't the clone all along and that was the real Mega Man? How do we know any of this is real in the first place? How do we know any of us are real in the first place? Nah, that's silly. On to the next stage. I really like this super long hallway, but whoever they put in charge of the super long hallway really made it super long. This boss is kind of all about button mashing. Yeah, he's weak to super arm, but it takes more than four rocks to kill it, and they don't respawn in between attempts, so you just gotta beat it with the buster gun a few rounds first. And we're on to the last stage. Look at this hallway full of gutsmans. I can't make a gutsman's ass joke for every one of them. Or can I? How many asses can I put on the screen at one time? The last flippy platform of the game. Kinda poetic how we ended the way we started. But this time I'll definitely... See, now it's even more poetic. Alright, I've learned my lesson from last time. Just use the magnet beam. Grab the one up and whatever this thing is. And then we gotta fight the rest of the boss graveyard. It's pretty much the same as before. Ah! But now we have Bomb Man's weapon to beat Guts Man. God, he's so strong. 
Well, at least there's a checkpoint. And now we're finally at the last boss. I don't know what his weakness is off the top of my head, but he has been pretty good so far. Ah so eventually we make it back and I figure out Firestorm is way better against him. But, oh no, he's got two stages. I I'm not really sure what this form is weak to, but he seems pretty good and yeah, we got him! And wow, the end credits are in English, even though we played on the Japanese version? Neat, I hope the rest of the games are like that too. Hell yeah, that's one game down. This is gonna be a breeze. I'll be done with all of them in like a week. Yeah, hey, a staff roll, cool, nice. Planner, AK, heck yeah, brother, we couldn't have done it without you. Great plans, start to finish, awesome planning. Character designer, Yasuguchi, good stuff, man.